Well, this week's top plays were by far the hardest to pick from since I've been here at least. A lot of football and one crazy soccer goal. Let's not waste any time. Starting out with number five, Legacy trailing Century last night in the first half. Clay Phelan drops back in the pocket, launches it down the sideline to Nick Kupfer, who just beats the DB and walks into the end zone. Phelan would end the game with 272 pass yards, 137 rush yards, and four touchdowns. Impressive performance for number five. Now to number four, Grant County Flasher hosting Beach. The Storm trail by eight with 1.9 left in the half. Jace Freeze puts it up as the buzzer sounds, and his brother Javin comes down with it for six. The Freeze connection is just too good. They go on to get the conversion and tie the game at the half but would fall 30 to 26. To number thir three, Mohaw taking on Central McLean. Mavericks quarterback Joe Savical breaks a tackle, makes a spin move, then lobs it up to a wide open receiver. Look at that catch, and then he makes a man miss and goes untouched to the end zone. Savical makes the grown man play there, escaping tacklers to earn number three. Number two, Bishop Ryan Lyons hosting Carrington. And the Lions go with the trick play, handing it to Logan Merck in the backfield, drifts to the right and throws the halfback pass to Bryson Elm, who breaks a tackle and goes 81 yards to the house. The Lions run away with this one, 42 to six. Now for the top play this week. Legacy Soccer hosting Jamestown and Gabriel Saw looks like a magician with the ball, making spin moves and count them up. That's one, two, three, four, and a fifth man making a miss, stops on a dime and shoots for the goal. Are you serious? Saw makes the defenders look silly and helps the Sabres to a three to one win.